All right, we've got a uh, new server in the lab today. Kevin, why don't we cut this guy open and see what we've got. Super Micro has sent us a goodie to play with. And here he comes. This is part of their Super Storage series, which in this case is going to be a 1U, 2-proc system. Intel 2nd Gen Xeon scalable CPUs inside. Let's get this guy out. Oh gosh, it's got hard drives. Before we get this thing racked, we'll take a look at the back end of it and also the server side component. It's just a lot easier to see that from here rather than uh, having to sort through all the cables and, and networking gear on the back side of it. Working left to right, we've got twin 800 watt power supplies, which will be definitely needed for all the compute power and drives inside. Uh, standard uh, stuff here, the four USB ports, networking port for management, VGA port. Uh, these two guys here are on board 10 gig. And then thankfully, the server supports three expansion cards. We've got one half height, half length here, and then two full height half length uh, available here on the right side. We will certainly be putting those to work with additional NICs to take advantage of the NVMe storage we'll show you here in just a minute. While we're on the back of this uh, storage server, let's go ahead and pop off the lid. Now we went ahead and removed the nine screws that hold this in securely. And we can see the X11 board inside. The uh, easiest things to see immediately are the two Intel second gen scalable CPUs that are under the heat sinks. Uh, this system has 6240s installed already. Uh, thankfully, all 12 DIMM slots are full and those are populated by 16 gig uh, DIMMs there. They are the 2933 speed, so that's great. As we said, the power supply is here. We've got a, uh, a boot drive here, which is nice M.2 110 millimeter guy. Above him is the one half height, half length expansion slot. And then over here, where Kevin will definitely be dropping in uh, some networking cards to take advantage of the high speed storage on the front, uh, we'll be using that space for sure. All right, so we've racked the storage server, and now let's take a look at the storage part of it. First of all, we'll turn these release pins and give this guy a tug. There we go. So we're starting out with 12, 12 terabytes of uh, Seagate Exo storage. Now these are the SATA drives that are more optimized for these big data, big storage, analytics, object stores, Ceph, all those types of use cases where capacity and cost are important. Now Seagate's got a uh, great drive for this in this Exos X14, and Supermicro has a pretty neat little chassis with a single release, and then uh, it's got this little sled that these guys sit into. So in the event that you have to service one of these in the, at some point, they uh, slide in and out really easily. So while we've talked about the big storage part of this, the 144 terabytes of Seagate Exos hard drives, the performance story that this 1U box offers is really cool too. So we've already talked about the networking on the backside and we're going to need the higher speed networking to take advantage of the NVMe storage. So Supermicro has equipped this with four of these Samsung PM983 SSDs. They're 3.84 terabytes each, TLC NAND, uh, in this small 7 millimeter form factor. So in addition to the 144 terabytes of hard drives, we've got 16 terabytes more or less of flash that we can bring to bear. A lot of software operating systems will be able to take advantage of these as caching or tiering or potentially even as a dedicated flash pool if that's what you want. So at this point, there's not much left to do other than fire this guy up and get to work. 